data I am going to teach how to send JSON data in extensive web services. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel and share this video. First, what is JSON means? JavaScript object notation. Now it is mostly using JSON. Next we will access which is JSON. Why? Because it is less weight, lightweight to send the data from network. So most of all, mostly we are using JSON. So if you any, so you can see JSON.com, you can, you can see more, of, more about the JSON. So first you can create dynamic web project, file, new, create dynamic web project. So I will do sending JSON data, project name sending JSON data. So I will take modulo 2.5 and click next and next finish button. So first you can add jar files to the lib folder. So I am using this implementation. So I have already download JC jars. So you can download JC jars from jc.com website. So I have already downloaded. So I can you can see friends with the folder. So I add all the jar files in the folder. So control A copy copy all these jar the conditions and paste clip folder. Next in the folder. So you can see friends. I have already I have added all jar files. JC jars. So first we can write web dot XML. Web dot XML. First I already right. So I will simply copy paste and extend the each and and explain this for that XML. So you can see that I will copy this. You can see that. First, here you can see rest slash rest slash star. This is directly matching. Directly matching. So URL patterns. There are three types of URL patterns in Java. That is exact match, directly match, extension match. In last video, we still I am using extension match. So this is a direct match. Direct match means first you can give constant value and another you can give star. So there are three types of I will write this. In. There are three types of URL patterns in Java. Three types of URL patterns. First one is exact match. So this exact match we are using in serverless, basic serverless. So next extension match. This extension match and extension match and third one is direct match. These two are we are using in our web services or other any frameworks. We are mostly using these two. Exact match is using only serverless. So because there are no front controller, design pattern is there. So I am using direct match. So direct match means if you give anything constant before rest is constant, another you can give star. One second. So anything rest slash add, rest slash delete. So these all we are going to the server container. So this serverless container, this serverless container is adding front controller. Front controller is in the in design pattern. So in the spin in the new framework we are using on front controller. So it will take the all the for control it will control in the all the URLs. So next to we can write one pojo. So this pojo will convert to JSON. So 
Today, CL dot Pojo. I will take simple employee, simple Pojo, and I will take three fields. Private, int, EMP number, private, string, EMP name, and EMP salary. This employee object will convert to JSON. JSON object will convert to employee object. This is the process. So generate data and setters. So right click and you can see source and you can see generate getters and setters. So click OK and select all and click OK button. So click finish. Next you can write class to consume the JSON data. So click new class. I will write Consume, consuming JSON data. I will get one class. This class is consuming the JSON data. Click finish. So, at the top of the class, you can view path variable, path annotation. So, the annotation is path variable, matrix, matrix variable. Path parent, there are there are four where four antics is there. So I will get path. So add and I will write one function public string return that we are using string and the one second first. One second, somebody is calling. One second. object so return I will write which values are common so I will write our details are so EMP dot get employee number employee number and employee name and employee salary so if we are it is Think employee object, so we are giving JSON data, JSON object. So this employee, we can convert to JSON and send the JSON data to this function, add JSON. This is the process. So I will write path here only, I also write path. Mostly we are using path variable. Path annotation JSON. So it will consume JSON data. So consumes right compulsory we are writing compulsory we are write this annotation media type dot application JSON. We can accept XML also. We can send the data exchange data from XML also. So now let's move more using JSON. Mostly we are using JSON data, JSON object to convert the object to JSON. Mostly we are using JSON. So, okay. Let's run the application. Okay, can run, run the application. Finish to move on to finish. And 
best you can write a client program is so next you can write okay so next you can write client program to send the json data so client program finish main auto shift control then okay sequence First, we can create client object. Client to the create. To will give client object, and then client object we can resource and add the part. So, we can client to the create. It will give create object. So, I have already code it there. I will copy paste. Control Shift Two. Import all the packages. So, I will Control Shift Two package. Okay. Okay. First, create the client object, and another we can pass the URL pattern to the client object. Client data the resource. Okay. So this up to this part, sending JSON data. So now up to this part, you can copy. Copy and paste to this one. Now copy and paste. Last, you can add rest. So this is direct match. This is last. You can add slash rest. This is web dot xml. You can write what you write in web dot xml. So I will write rest. Text is left star. So here I will write rest. I am writing rest. So I will here you can see this. I am writing rest. Text is left star. So I will so I am right rest here. So this is only part. URL pattern. Here only you can write slash add slash JSON, but I will write in next. So here you can see this. You can write add and JSON. Add and JSON. Here thought. You can add and JSON. Here only you can write. So I will write part add and JSON. So it will consume application JSON. So we are giving JSON data. So here you can see that media type application JSON. So We compulsory pass the values in post post function. So here name is JSON. So we can pass the JSON data JSON object JSON data to here name. So here JSON format is. Okay, so this is JSON format. So this JSON will convert it to employee object. Write string name. Actually, we are giving employee object. So we are giving JSON object. So this JSON will convert to employee object in network. You can see this is format JSON format. So double quotes you can give slash. Double quotes is not accepted in Java, so you can give slash. I am writing the sequence. For double quotes, you can give forward forward slash. So this is forward slash. I think it is very difficult. So in next video, I am telling how to convert object to JSON.
in next video. One class is this. This name you can give here. Name. So post it will string dot class means it will return type. What you have written? I am written string. So I will give string dot class to return string. So here you can see that EMP ID means print name. And you can give colon value. EMP name, fill name, colon value. EMP cell, fill name, colon value. This is JSON format. JSON format. Before you can give brackets. Square brackets. This is JSON. I think it is different. So one of class is there, object method. Object method will take employee ob object and it will give JSON. In the next video I am going to teach. I am telling you. I am going to teach. You can give forward slash before the double quotes. In the subject, okay, run this application. You can no errors here. It will execute. So you can see it as navigation is there. So you can you can give post. I think we will forget the post annotation in. You can see that we need we need to make a exception. It will get exception. So post. In this one, it is a just means I think post which we cannot view. Yes, we can write post. In compulsory calls the data in post. So I will write post. And we restart the server. Compulsory restart the server. JSON object and convert to employee object, JSON data. Click OK. Thank you. It will exist. Perfect. You can restart the server. No errors is there. It will execute successfully. Done. No server. Click finish button. program from the client program. I think it will be Okay. Okay, so friends, it will be successfully your data star, not one, I will tell. Okay, friends. In next video, I am going to teach how to convert employee object to JSON, JSON object to employee. Yeah, EMP number, EMP number, fill values. In the next video, I am going to teach how to send, how to convert object to JSON. How to convert object to JSON. If you like this video, please subscribe and share this video. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.